I'm gonna be breaking this thing. I don't know. For people who sell their stuff at a, at a dispensary, if y'all don't want us to be able to open up the packages, just say that because there's no reason why I should have had to go through what I had to go through to open this damn package up. Please make it's it's at a dispensary already, baby. It's already secure. What what are we doing? What what are we doing? Okay. Over these past couple of weeks, it has been a lot going on. A lot of great things. A lot of not so great things. So I got sick. Yeah, because my brother who, for some reason, he can't leave the house without coming back with some type of germ that gets the whole damn house sick. Um, This time, it was norovirus. Basically, the stomach flu. So, um, it hit us one by one. I stay at home in case y'all didn't know. I think I touched on it on like my very first video, but anywho. So my brother got sick. Then my mother was taking care of my brother, having to take care of my brother. And then um she got sick. And then me and my mother, if you know me and my mama, me and my mama like this. We like this. We like ain't no switching up. Like we yeah. So then I got sick. So we was we was basically treating it like COVID, to be totally honest. I have been this is a transparent mama child so i'm still breaking down i've been i've been wanting today like interested in getting back into the day and saying all of that stuff my hang up that i have is that um i don't want nobody to be my son i'm gonna keep it a trail i don't want nobody to meet him i don't want nobody to meet him i feel like it's so many people who get in relationships or they meet people because they want to have like a father for their child well my son has a father and his father is active and i don't i'm not needing a replacement father but because i feel like there are so many men who just kind of like automatically know um that you know when you get in a relationship with somebody you know if they have a child you have to you know you're gonna interact with that child but me over here that shit is mm. Mm -mm. i don't want to do it i don't want to do it so i told my mom i said i want today but i nobody's gonna take me serious and i and i understand that nobody's gonna take me serious telling them like okay yeah i want a date but don't ever plan on meeting my son because you'll probably never meet him unless this should get like really really serious and like I feel like, oh, this is somebody I can walk down the aisle with. And anybody who knows me knows how I feel about marriage for myself. Love it for anybody else. But it's just, it's, I don't feel like it's a good fit for me. So I was talking to my mom and she's like, are you crazy? Um, plenty of guys want to talk to you under those circumstances. They will still talk to you and stuff like that. Like they will still want to date you and things like that. Because I'm just like... I don't want you. I don't want you for him. I want you for me. You, you, you with me. Yeah, I'm talking about my lace. I'm, I'm still getting it together. I just, I just got it together today. But I'm like, it's like, I don't want you for, for my son. I want you for me. I want you to be in my life for me. I don't need you to be a, like a quote unquote, father figure it's like i don't need you to be a father figure for him he already has a father um if it gets to the point where i feel like i didn't feel how you feel you you gotta be you gotta be worthy to me my child i'm i sorry not sorry people are like you know it's not uh, it really is for me mm-hmm it really it really is for me you have to earn the gift of my son gracing you with his presence you have to earn that feel how you want to feel but when it comes to my son no i'm not playing in his face i'm not playing in his face with no man with no men no so most anybody that i would talk to natural out of 10 they're not gonna meet him especially in the beginning because when i tell you um I'm here for a good time. That's what I've been on. Like, I'm here for a good time. That's what I've been on. But now I'm like, 
maybe, maybe, maybe I should do a relationship. Maybe I stick with a relationship now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Do I want somebody to have me up in arms? No. The person that's going to come to me, they're going to have some fucking sense. So I ain't deal I'm not dealing with nothing less. I'm just, I'm not dealing with nothing less. Hold up, y'all. Yes, I smoke. Cats out the bag. I'm not condoning it. If you, if you, if it's not legal in your state, don't, don't do it. If you can't just bang your way through life, okay? You can't. It's like I feel like I'm supposed to have a boyfriend, but I don't know if I just feel that way because society makes me feel like I'm supposed to have a boyfriend but it's like I don't mind dating now I'm like cool yeah so dating okay we can get into it um I'm I'm very much a uh I've been like a I ain't gonna say always but for the most part I've been a, I'm here for a good time not a long time I have been in a relationship stuff like that but now that I have a child I'm just like can't meet you're not gonna meet i'm not gonna just let you meet him on some like let's just see where that goes fuck no and i do believe it but girls as well she said you know girls they'll see their mamas they and men different men like if it's a woman that like bring a lot of men around her daughter whatever because women do that weird shit she said the girls would be just thinking about like you know their mama be dating like whether or not you sleeping with them the boys the boys be counting peepees, okay? So, I'm like, I'm very, and, and it's like, I wouldn't even feel comfortable doing that shit, but it's a lot of people that do that. So, I don't need you to come in with your motherfucking cape. You can take your cape off. So many, I feel like when you are a single mother, which I, I really don't like that term because when people say single mother, they say single mother like, you know what I'm saying? Like the daddy ain't around. People are like, oh, you a single parent like the daddy not around? No. I don't know if somebody would be willing to wait a substantially long time to meet somebody's kid if they was in a relationship. I don't know. I don't know if, like, if there would be, like, a time limit on that that would make that, like, a deal breaker. I don't know. Because even if that person had kids, like, if I met a man... And I would prefer, I would prefer my man to have a kid because I have a kid. Because, because I firmly believe, even though it's not always the case, but children, when you have children of your own, you develop a temperament that, so, many times, you develop a temperament that People who don't have children do not know how to possess. They don't have a need for it because they don't have no kids. Now, there are people who don't have kids who are fantastic with kids. After you done did everything that you can do and that baby just want to crack because that baby might have colic and you just don't know yet or whatever for a single person, for a person that don't have kids, that could be, that could be the last straw. And I always am mindful of people, like how I treat people and all that, especially now. Like how I treat people, how I talk to people, all that, because, baby, one thing you don't never want to be is somebody last straw. You don't come back from being somebody last straw. I need you to have a kid. I need you to have a kid that you take care of. You definitely can't come to me as no goddamn deadbeat. But I need for you to know what it's like to deal with a kid. So. That's how I feel about that. 